Pana Pielo Productions presents Stuttgart, Germany. In this video, I'll cover the major attractions in Stuttgart, beginning with a walking tour of the historic city center, a discussion of how mass transportation works in Stuttgart, and then a brief visit to the Mercedes-Benz Museum and the Porsche Museum. And we'll get started with a tour of the Stuttgart city center. The city center is anchored by Stuttgart's main train station, which is most famous for its 12-story tower with iconic Mercedes-Benz star. Another neat part about this train station is you can check in for the Lufthansa Air Train. It's a train to the plane, a train that you can take to Frankfurt Airport, but you can check in for your airplane, get your boarding pass, and check in your luggage here at the train station. A great way to get your bearings is to take the elevator up to the top of that 12-story tower where you can check out some really neat views of the city from the 12th-story observatory. Directly in front of the train station is a 1.2 kilometer long pedestrian street that is Stuttgart's main shopping street. And that street, the Koningstrasse, which you can see here from the observatory, is a great place to begin your exploration of Stuttgart. And if you come on a warm weather weekend, you'll find plenty of Stuttgart locals enjoying the beautiful weather, maybe even blowing some bubbles. If you're looking for shopping, come any day except Sunday. Sunday, most of the stores on this shopping street are closed. If you're looking for something to eat, you'll find many eateries with indoor and outdoor seating for food and, of course, German beer. So, not really a German food, but a pretty tasty food are kebabs, and they're just about everywhere in Stuttgart. This one is a Rolle. You could easily spend the greater part of a day exploring Stuttgart's city center. There's lots of interesting side streets to explore, or do like the locals do and just grab a seat on the steps. Or maybe even enjoy a street break dancing show performed to classical music? One particular attraction off the Koningstrasse not to be missed is the Market Hall. The Stuttgart Market Hall is considered to be one of Germany's finest markets. It was built in 1912 in the Art Nouveau style. In the square next to the Market Hall is a flea market every Saturday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. If you want to bring back some interesting vintage German souvenirs, this might be a place to find something pretty unique. For those that are more of the nature-oriented type, they might enjoy a walk in the Stuttgart Castle Garden, a 600-year-old garden in the form of a park. It's so large, the map back here actually takes up four signs. It's a nice park to go for a walk, a stroll, or a bicycle ride. The park has some very lovely statues, fountains, meandering paths, and a lake. The city center has more parks in addition to the castle garden. In one of the neighboring parks, I found this birdhouse, which is the biggest birdhouse I've ever seen. This looks less like a house and more like a pigeon mansion. Public transportation in Stuttgart is pretty easy. There's two main types of trains. There's the S-Bahn and the U-Bahn. The S-Bahn is like a local railway, and the U-Bahn is more of an underground subway slash trolley. Almost all the stations here will have signs that'll tell you what the next three trains coming are, and how long, and what their destination is. Buying tickets for the transportation in Stuttgart can be a little complicated. The S-Bahn and the U-Bahn both have different ticket machines, and the thing you need to know when buying your ticket is where you're going, because it will ask you to input your destination. On the S-Bahn, you actually enter it on a keyboard and then it will bring up what your fare is. On the U-Bahn, there is a touchpad and a number and you enter the three digit code corresponding to your destination. Or if you know how many zones you're going to travel, you can buy one of the all day passes. That's what I did and that's about the easiest. 680 euro for two zone travel, uh, it's pretty easy that way you don't have to buy tickets every time. For the U-Bahn ticket machine, you find your station and the numbers over here then you push the number of the station that you're going to on this keypad and then up at the top it tells you how much money to insert. You put that money in the coin slot or the dollar slot and then you get your ticket down here. If you want a day pass, you can push one of these buttons or a week pass. The U-Bahn is essentially a underground subway or trolley depending upon what parts of the city it's in. The U-Bahn is really better than the S-Bahn because the U-Bahn is actually air-conditioned and much newer. One of the top visited attractions and the number one visited museum in Stuttgart is the Mercedes-Benz Museum. 
Getting to the Mercedes-Benz Museum is pretty easy. You take the S1 line from the main train station to the Necker Park Mercedes-Benz station. It's about a five minute trip, pretty easy. From the train station, it's about a seven minute walk to the museum on a pretty well-signed pedestrian route. Another mode of transportation to the museum could be by a classic Mercedes-Benz car. And if you own and drive a classic Mercedes-Benz car, they'll actually let you park right in front of the museum. Admission to the museum is eight euro, and it comes with a neat audio guide. The first thing you'll see when you walk in is the grandfather clock engine, along with a pair of motorized carriages, one built by Daimler and one built by Benz. This is one impressive museum. It houses 125 vehicles over nine different floors, and you could easily spend the good part of a day in here. Car aficionados will really enjoy this museum, but even people who aren't that into cars will enjoy it for the wonderful presentation and some of the more interesting vehicles, like this Mercedes-Benz bus from Buenos Aires. This museum really has everything, including a fancy sit-down restaurant where I had some of the best schnitzel that I had in all of Stuttgart. It wasn't cheap though, 20 euro for the schnitzel, oh, and four euro for the Coke. And last but not least, on the ground floor is the Mercedes dealership showroom. So if you were inspired by all that Mercedes history, you can take one home with you today, too. The number two visited museum in Stuttgart is the Porsche Museum. The Porsche Museum is in this very trippy building that looks like a big floating box filled with Porsches. To get to the Porsche Museum, you take the S6 line to this stop, Porsche box. It's located across the street from the Porsche office building in the Porsche dealership. Admission to the Porsche Museum is also eight euro. It comes with a slightly less fancy audio guide that focuses on the history and design and engineering behind Porsche automobiles. The Porsche Museum isn't as big or grand as the Mercedes-Benz Museum, but if you've got a couple days to spend in Stuttgart, it's worth at least an hour or two to visit this museum as well. Porsche is very proud of their racing heritage, so you'll see many of their winning race cars in the museum. And you'll also find the first Volkswagen Bug, which was designed by Ferdinand Porsche. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe.